in the past, I have talked many times about how wonderful, cheap Chinese radios can be. I have argued this point with strangers in online forums. One time, I even got into a fist fight with a very angry old woman claiming that cheap Chinese radios were nothing more than junk. And when I say cheap Chinese radio, I am not just talking about the world-famous Bufuang UV-5R. Many other manufacturing brands fall under this large racist umbrella category known as CCR, or cheap Chinese radios. Basically, if it costs less than around $75 of monies, and if it comes from China, some people will refer to it as a CCR, or cheap Chinese radio. My point here is that some people will argue that you should never buy a cheap Chinese radio, and the reasons they say this is based at least partially in fact. Indeed, there are legitimate reasons to not buy a cheap Chinese radio. So allow me to share with you the 10 true and very valid reasons why you should not, not buy a CCR or cheap Chinese radio. First of all, as you may have inferred by the very racist and non-inclusive name, these Cheap Chinese radios are made in China, meaning, amongst other things, that they are probably manufactured using at least some amount of child slave labor or other methods that probably violate the Geneva Convention. Of course, we will never know for sure, but what we do know is that every time you buy a cheap Chinese radio from China, you are supporting the Chinese economy and putting monies directly into the pocket of Kim Jong-um or whoever's in charge over there at the expense of our own economy right here in these United States. Secondly of all, because everything in China is controlled by the chai government, a cheap Chinese radio could have, could have built-in secret backdoors or kill switches ready to be used against this great country in the coming war. I should note that there has never actually been any evidence of this, but in theory, it could happen. The fourth reason is that most CCR manufacturers have very low QC. For you non-industrial types, QC means quality control, which means making sure that the stuff actually works before they ship it out the door. And the cheaper the CCR, the worse the QC is, and this results in a very high rate of DOAs, meaning you take it out of the box and it doesn't work, or high infant mortality rates, meaning it works fine for a few days or weeks, and then you wake up one morning and try to use the radio, and it's dead. Number five, certification testing may be done in illegitimate labs, or the radio might just have an outright fake FCC certification sticker, either resulting in things like the radio transmitting slightly off frequency, maybe the radio is not as waterproof as claimed, or the radio could suffer from the dreaded spurious RF emissions. I should point out that normal people do not care about most of those things, but in despite of that, these are still actual valid issues. Next on the list is fake electronic safety stickers or safety certifications. A lot of people don't care about this one either, but they will care when that battery charger burns down their house or the radio's lithium ion battery explodes in their pants. Number eight is simple, plain, old-fashioned, poor design, or bad implementation of a good design. The radios could be programmed wrong. They may come with the wrong frequencies on different channels. They might have preloaded tones or codes that make no sense, menu options that don't make sense or don't do anything. They often suffer from front-end overloading, a squelch that barely works, buttons that break off all the things that you've come to know and love from a cheap Chinese radio. Number nine, poorly written user manuals written in low quality Chinglish. This one probably does not matter much because most people throw the user manual straight into the trash without ever looking at it, but this is a problem for those of us that actually try to read them. And number 10, low quality, actually the lowest possible quality components throughout the entire radio. Not just the electronic bits, but the metal, the plastic used, the solder. Everything in these radios is just good enough to function 
when you turn the thing on, and no more. This means that your cheap Chinese radio may not last very long before something fails. So now that you are aware of why some people say you should not buy a cheap Chinese radio, does this mean that instead of buying a CCR, you should buy a very expensive Japanese or Swedish GMRS or hams radios costing hundreds or even thousands of dollars? No way. You can get one of these for like 20 bucks and they usually work great. And if it does die, just throw it in the trash and buy a new one.